channel where you are here to discover and experience the world of science. Let us enjoy, learn, and grow. My name is Mom Ivy B. Velasquez, your beautiful, kind, and cheerful teacher that will give you a lot of knowledge and wisdom. So, handa na ba kayong anihin nito? Yes po! But before that, let us first feel the guidance of our Lord through the prayer to be lived by Annalisa. Amen. Please, make sure our classroom is clean. Pick up any crush you see. Thank you! For your attendance, is everyone present for today? Yes po! Very good! This is your perfect attendance award. Give yourself bird clap! One tweet, one two tweet tweet, one two tweet 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 tweet. So, can you help Mom Ivy to fix these letters and form the magic word to open this magical box? Now, can we read the word that you have been fixed? Friction! Does anyone have an idea or remember what is friction? That's right! Give yourself a wonderful clap! One, two, three, one, two, three, you are wonderful. Thank you, everyone. Now, it is time for us to open the magical box. Are you excited? Wow, this is a scientist girl. We are now a certified scientist. Now, little scientists, it is time for us to explore and discover the world of science. Let us start now. I have different materials here. Do you see it? It consists of book, ball, wood and cartons for water basin with ball. Very good. I will group you into four groups and in every group, I will need your help for us to do the experiment activities. For group 1, book, group 2, ball, group 3, wood and cartons, and group 4, water basin with ball. Every group will do their experiment activities through the guidance and help of me. So all of you need to watch and give full attention on it. Five minutes of experimentation activities. We already know what is friction, but let us dig deeper on it. Most of us only know that rubbing a hand is an example of friction. Well, that is correct, but friction is more than that. Friction always exists in everything in this world, just like in our experiment activities. So what is friction? Friction is a natural phenomenon that occurs when there is a contact between two objects. When there is a friction, there will be a loss of energy because friction works against the motion and acts in the opposite direction. Friction is also a great help to us. After all, we would all just be sliding around everywhere if there wasn't friction to keep us steady. Friction is used in car brakes. When we walk or climb a hill, making a far, skiing down a hill, and more, just like our experiment activities a while ago. Now, let us tackle the four types of friction. Our experiment activities a while ago is an example of different friction. Can you guess what are those? Static friction po, rolling friction, sliding friction, fluid friction. Very good! Give yourself a super galing clap! One, two, three! One, two, three! Super galing! Let us start on static friction. Where is group one? How do you say that the book is an example of static friction? It occurs po when the surface in contact are dressed. The book and the table surface is a dress po. Very good! Who can give me an example of static friction? Yes, Annalisa? A chair. Wall clock hung on wall. Very good. So, static friction is important? This is particularly important po for brakes in bicycles, elevators, chaka mining po machines. That's right. 
because static friction slows down or prevents motion. It is necessary in many applications where you might want to hold on items or do things and prevent slipping or sliding. So what is the other type of friction? Yes, Shana? Rolling friction po, like in the ball. That's right. So group 2, what do you notice when we do the experiment? When surface is in motion in which one of the surface is a wheel, roller, or ball. That's right. Is rolling friction used in our daily lives? Yes po! For example, when you are riding a vehicle, going to groceries, you are using carts. In traveling to other places, you are using um, car. Next type of friction is... Yes, Angelo? Sliding friction pop. Very good. So, group 3, what do you notice in our test a while ago? It occurs when solid surfaces slide over one another. That's right. Sliding is a type of frictional motion between two surfaces in contact. So another example of it are ice skating, ballet dancing, and a person is sliding down a slide. Is there an importance of sliding friction? Yes, yes yeah, ma'am. For example, the ballet dancer, they can glide or slide their feet easily when they are dancing. Very good. So the last type of friction is... Yes, Marie? Fluid friction po. Very good. So group 4, what do you think it is? The force that tries to slow objects down when they move through a liquid or gas, it is also known po as drag or air That's resistance. Right. So remember everyone that all gases and liquids are fluids. An example of this is skydivers falling down through the sky experiences a type of fluid friction. Swimmers, a boat or ship crushing an airline and a parachutist and also a surfers. Besides the four types of friction, what do you notice about friction? Yes, Wesley? No, po, there's a way to reduce friction, pa. Very good. So, what are those ways? A uh, smooth surface. That's right. The roughness of the surface is the greater the friction, while the smoothness of the surface is the less friction of work. So, another, Yael? Replace is sliding with rolling. And last one, Nicole? Add oil or... Lubricant. Very good. Give yourself super the link club. One, two, three. One, two, three. Super the link. We have a toolbox here. Si Matanong box and Mapagbigay box. If you answer correctly, you will have a prize in Mapagbigay box. Are you ready? Let's start now. Question the partner. What is friction? What are the importance of it in our life? Is friction always success? What are the four types of friction? Can you give one example of the statistic friction? Can you give one example of the sliding friction? How about the rolling friction? And can you give one example of fluid friction? What if there is no friction? Do you think, what do you think will happen next? For your science quiz challenge, part 1, read the questions carefully and select the letters of the correct answer for each question. For your part 2, in the back of your test paper, write the importance of friction in our daily lives. 10 points, and here is the rubrics of it. For your assignment, direction. Search in the internet how friction can be desirable and undesirable in our everyday lives. Use examples to support your answer and write it in your 
assignment notebook. So that's all for today. I hope you learned a lot in our discussion. Lastly, here is the certificate of recognition because all of you are a certified scientist in our Explore Science channel. That's all. Thank you.